you're gonna make up some <clears throat> magic water for our chicks. And that is about a half a cup of honey. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of vinegar. Apple cider. Four cloves of minced garlic, very finely minced. And then we'll just add some hot water to that and dissolve it all and it's ready for the chicks. Hello you guys, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. And this morning we got the phone call from the post office and our chicks are here. So we are fixing to be chicken farmers again, woohoo! I'm so excited. Um, so we're headed to the post office to go pick up our baby chicks from Murray and McMurray Hatchery. There they are. I'm keeping your face out of the video, but I am videoing. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Here we go. This isn't a bathing station, right? So the babies are here and they are, there's 26 of them, um, 25, I ordered 25 and then you get a free chick of just a random day picket, um, but they are, it's, it's called the Heavy Mix from Murray McMurray. And you get five chicks of five different breeds and of their choosing. And it's anything from Astrolorps, uh, rocks, you know, barred rocks, uh, reds, Sussex, Turkins, Wynadots, um, Orpingtons, you know, all basically all heavy uh, dual purpose breeds. And so we definitely got a mixture here and uh, they all, 26 of them, arrived uh, alive and well. And they all got their beaks dipped, as you saw, into the, the magic water. And I'm really big on getting them, you know, getting them home, getting them unboxed and getting them warm as soon as possible. So. Um, we got their, all of their, their beaks dipped and so they know where their water is and then they naturally go over and find their food um, and the heat lamp, you know, on. And so they're already 
um, feeling hydrated again and scurrying around and picking at the bedding. Um, and I'm just so happy. I'm happy to have them. Chick season is always a really fun season um, for us farmers. And I picture myself sitting here for many, many hours of the day um, just watching them. And that's, that's part of it. This is, this is yet another thing. Um, and I talk about these things a lot. This is yet another thing that fills, fills the glass back up. Um, and so that's, that's really good. And they're super entertaining and super adorable and they won't stay that way forever. They'll turn into chickens, um, which I love my lovely ladies and I miss having my lovely ladies on the farm. Um, they're just like little morsels of joy. <laughs> Put Miss Velvet out to enjoy some green grass. Which she went right to doing. Pastures are already starting to green up. Just came in to check on the little beep beeps. See how they're settling in. Seem to be doing good. We got some rocks in their waterer. Because there were some that were, you know, kind of stumbling around and I wasn't confident that they weren't gonna get stuck in the water trough and drown. So um, if you put marbles or if you wash some rocks, you know, like gravel and put it in there, it helps to alleviate that problem for, you know, just a few days. It helps keeping them from falling into the water. Uh-oh. Can you write yourself, little buddy? Can you do it? I'm stuck upside down. Whoop, there you go. You got it. They're drinking and eating. And sleeping. Gosh, they're cute. And they can still drink, but they can't get, you know, stuck in that trough area. So, sure is hard to get any work done around here. And I did promise you guys that I'd show you how we rig our lights. Because heat lamps are so incredibly dangerous, and I know that. First of all, you've seen the, the thermometer thing. That is a thermometer that we are keeping track of what the temperature is in here. And I can have that next to my bed in the house. And this is what we do with our light. So the light came up. It's got this clamp thing, right? And then what we do is we actually tie. We bring the cord up and we tie a knot around it on the outside so that even for whatever reason, if that clamp came undone or, you know, whatever the case is, it is tied on there. It cannot fall through and fall down to the bottom. Um, and this, again, this is a very heavy crate. Okay, so I have demoed this area as best I can without the help of Mr. Wonderful. I'm gonna see if I can't get 
the vanity out of here. Okay, Mr. Wonderful came in and did some cutting of pipes. Got those pipes there on the floor all removed and um, got me started on what to do for the bathtub. So um, right now I've got all the hardware off of the bathtub and I'm <laughs> I scared the crap out of rumor. <laughs> Uh, now I've got this wall that I'm trying to get out so that I can get the tub out. swept up we're gonna have to I think we've decided we're gonna fill in that hole with concrete and then we'll come in and we'll finish that wall out and then I can start um, get this painted but I think this is gonna make me a pretty decent walk out here real quick it's gonna make a pretty decent size, size feed room so 
Uh, let's check on the beep beeps. Everybody's doing good. Drinking water, eating food. B, come here. I'll show you. Come here, I'll show you. Let's see. You see him? Oh my goodness, B. Your beep beeps are here. You see him? They're here. You have beep beeps again. <laughs> oh, that is all she will do all day long. Just sit here and listen to them beep. Are you barking at me? Really? Some guard dog. You ready to go in, baby girl? Okay, hold on. I gotta get around. Another beautiful sunset. Another productive day. All right. I'm coming, Nancy Pansy. You want to just go and I'll meet you there? Go ahead. You want to come with me? Okay. We'll go together. I know you want to rush. You're getting ahead of me. Okay, I'll get the gate. You go ahead. Such a good girl. Got your thing. Are you mm for a reason? Hmm? Is the grain barrel empty? Oh, well, again, I can get a mirror if you'd like. No? Okay, well. Tomorrow morning, there will be more. <laughs> so thanks guys for hanging out with me again today on another homesteady day, getting chicks and rebuilding this farm, making it our own and growing. I appreciate you coming along. If you like my videos, be sure to hit that like button. And if you think that somebody else could benefit from watching, make sure that you share. And as always, subscribe. It's free to you and it's good for all of us. That way my videos pop up on your feed as soon as you get on to YouTube. If you're subscribed to my channel, they will pop up on the, on the top for you. You guys have a great day. I am feeling a little bit better. Felt good to get out and work today. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Yours truly.